Well, new at 11 for the second straight Friday night, the Sacramento Police Department is holding DUI checkpoints. This time, officers gathered at Howe Avenue and University Avenue. They plan to be out there until at least 2 a.m. It all comes as the National Transportation Safety Board is making a new push to install alcohol detection devices, similar to breathalyzers in all new cars because of the rising number of fatal drunk driving crashes. Here's what we know so far. The National Transportation Safety Board is recommending all manufacturers equip new cars with monitoring technology that can stop drunk drivers from getting on the road. I look at this technology as it's part of this progression we see in the car technology going to the electrical vehicles, having, you know, self-driving cars. Now we're, we're talking about safety. The latest figures show one in three traffic fatalities is caused by a drunk driver, up 14 percent from 2019. The NTSB's investigation this week comes as part of its investigation of a 2021 deadly collision near Fresno. A drunk driver crashed head on with another vehicle on New Year's Day, killing both adults and seven children, ranging from six to 15 years old. We have the technology to prevent that crash and other crashes that happen day in and day out. So how would the technology work? Experts say the car itself could be designed to not hassle or distract a sober driver. Instead, automatic sensors would stop only an impaired driver from taking off. Especially when you're starting the car, this is the first time it's going to just, you know, try to get a sense of your breath. Volvo is already working on these alcohol detection systems, which also include in-car cameras that can monitor the driver for intoxication. Keep in mind the NTSB does not have the authority to require manufacturers to install the technology. It can only pressure automakers and other government agencies to pave the way for the new rules of the road.